Hello everybody, we have seen a number of videos on pneumonia, all were of very basic level to make it easy for everybody to understand. It is time for us to see what happens microscopically. To make it simple and easy, I have chosen only one microorganism which is known as Streptococcus pneumoniae. It is a famous gram-positive round bacteria known to cause infections including pharyngitis, meningitis, uh, pneumonia especially low bar pneumonia in human beings which we are discussing right now there can be several outcomes including death depending upon several factors here we will only discuss the process of infection uh, and assume uh, complete healing through the process of resolution resolution means uh, complete uh, clearing of mess created by bacteria and return of lung to normal function. Some of the processes shown in this slide and in next two slides happen in order while other happen simultaneously with other processes. Infection starts uh, when bacteria make their way to alveoli of lungs. Alveoli always have uh, macrophages which start phagocytosis means they start killing the bacteria and if they completely finish the bacterial population that has managed to enter in alveoli of lung then nothing goes wrong and process finishes in case if macrophages cannot kill the whole population then the rest of the bacteria start damaging the host cell the alveolar cells by releasing toxins hemolysin is a toxin that is produced by uh, and, and released by some bacteria including streptococcus pneumoniae which damages red blood cells in order to release uh, hemoglobin from it which is used by bacteria as nutrient as as food Nemolysin is another toxin that creates uh, holes in host cells again to release their contents which again is used by bacteria as food. Hydrogen peroxide is another toxin that is released by Streptococcus pneumoniae that damages the surrounding tissue. Now what macrophages do in this case they release cytokines. Cytokine is uh, a protein uh, which is released by, by macrophages in order to signal the body to ask for more help. Cytokines also send signals to brain to increase body temperature to, to, uh, to cause fever and it is this process that starts uh, the, the next process which is inflammation. Inflammation means uh, tiny blood vessels in and around infected area become dilated and become more permeable and now allow plasma proteins to move into affected area. Dilated blood vessels also allow extra blood flow creating redness, heat and swelling and in the main time neutrophils are deployed uh, which start phagocytosis again. Alveoli uh, get filled with exudates and exudates are composed of dead cells, neutrophils, fibrin, lysed uh, blood, uh, especially lysed uh, RBCs, broken down RBCs. Uh, it is this lysed blood which gives brownish color to the sputum of infected person. Fibrin comes uh, from fibrinogen which is um, a blood plasma uh, protein and is a part of healing process. Phagocytosis by neutrophils and if neutrophils uh, manage to finish the, the bacterial population then more macrophages are deployed and towards the end of the process fibrinolysis begin means fibrin starts uh, to break down uh, to be absorbed by the interstitial tissue or the lung tissue and then finally uh, lung uh, assumed or resumes uh, normal function. Let me show you a few sketches 
and describe the process again. So this uh, is a cross section of a normal alveolus which is filled with air and macrophages are always there. These uh, red things are tiny blood vessels that surround the alveoli. This is an infected and inflamed alveolus. Uh, the blood vessels are dilated. The alveolar space is filled with exudates uh, which is composed of fibrinized blood bacteria, dead cells, macrophages and neutrophils. Let me show you a longitudinal cross section from this interface here which should look like this. So this is a blood vessel. These are endothelial cells. This is a, a normal alveolar space filled with air. This is uh, uh, this al uh, alveolus is filled with exudates as a result of cytokine release. The neutrophils are deployed to the area of infection and they are heavier than the red blood cells. What they do, they push these endothelial cells apart to make their way to the, the alveolar space here and start the process of phagocytosis. A typical picture of pneumonia, uh, a low bar pneumonia, which is usually caused by a streptococcus pneumonia. If you take a sample from here and put it under a microscope, the sample should look like this. So this is uh, pleura, vestral pleura. Uh, this is the normal lobe, and this is infected lobe. So the alveoli here are filled with air as opposed to this junk here uh, which is uh, composed of in initial stages uh, fibrin and uh, neutrophils and towards the end of the uh, process uh, you'll see more macrophages in there rather than neutrophils. Acknowledgements and references and the lecture is prepared for academyofprofessionals.com thank you very much